In essence, the Meta Business Suite is an all-in-one tool that enables you to manage all your daily activities that you engage in on Facebook, Instagram, and on Messenger. Basically, rather than jumping between all three of these platforms, the Meta Business Suite allows you to create ads, manage your inbox, schedule and post content across platforms, and more from one location. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel and thanks for joining me if it's your first time here today. Now in this updated Meta Business Suite tutorial for beginners, I'm excited to walk you through everything you need to know to effectively use the Meta Business Suite to grow your business. Okay, so before we launch into this Meta Business Suite tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note, let's go ahead and get your business up and running with the Meta Business Suite. Okay, so to arrive at the Meta Business Suite, simply head over to your browser and type in business.facebook.com and that's going to take you to the Meta Business Suite. However, if you currently do not have a business manager, then you do need to create a business manager first. If you need some guidance in creating a business manager, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will walk you through the process of getting started with the business manager. Now, ultimately, long term, what's going to happen is the business manager inside Facebook is going to merge with the Meta Business Suite which will then allow you to access everything from within the Meta Business Suite. Now, once you've arrived inside your Meta Business Suite, the first thing that we wanna do is make sure that our business account is selected. So to do that, simply click here in the top left-hand corner, then simply select your business account that you've used to connect your Facebook business page and your Instagram business account together. Remember, the Meta Business Suite is an all-in-one platform that you can use to manage your Facebook business page, your Instagram business account, and Messenger. So as you can see down here, I have the correct business account selected. Now, if you navigate up to the top of the page below home, you'll notice that I have my Facebook business page connected and my Instagram business account connected. Now, if you currently do not see your Facebook business page or your Instagram account, then first what you wanna do is make sure that you have a Facebook business page and you also have an Instagram business account. Then what you wanna do is link the two assets together. If you're not too sure how to link the Facebook business page and Instagram account together, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will show you the process of connecting these two online assets together. Now, it's also important to mention that you can download the Meta Business Suite onto your mobile device, which means you can manage your Facebook business page, your Instagram business account, and Messenger directly from your mobile phone using the Meta Business Suite app. And for those that are interested in learning how to make the most of the Business Suite app, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and again down below in the description for you to check out that resource. Okay, so let's dive into all the essential features that you can leverage inside the Meta Business Suite. Now, one of the most common reasons that you're gonna be using the Meta Business Suite on a daily basis is to create posts on both the Facebook business page and your Instagram business account. So to do that, what we can do is simply navigate down on the home page and select Create Post. We can also go ahead and create a story or we can create an ad, and we're gonna talk more about these shortly. Simply navigate over to Create Post, click here, and when creating a post, the first thing that you wanna do is navigate up to Post 2 and click here. This is where you can choose if you wanna to post to Facebook and Instagram, or if you just wanna post to one of these channels. We're gonna to post to both of these platforms. Then below post two, we have media. This is where you can upload specific media for your post. It could be a video or photos. I'm gonna go ahead and upload a photo and I'm going to upload this photo here, which is the thumbnail for this video. 
And then here over on the right hand side, you can see a preview of what your post will look like on both the Facebook news feed and also the Instagram feed. So we're gonna keep the Facebook news feed preview selected. Then if we navigate over to media over on the left hand side, we can navigate down and add additional photos. Up here you can see that the Instagram post can't exceed 10 photos. We can also navigate over here and we can edit or remove the media. Then below media we have post details. Down here is where we can go ahead and add the details, the text content for this post. Above this, we can choose to customize the post for Facebook and Instagram. So for example, if I turn this on, I can go ahead and add the text that I want to display on the Facebook post. And as you can see, I've quickly created a Facebook post. I've added an emoji over here, which is a finger pointing down emoji. I added that by simply clicking the emoji options down here. And I've also added a link, which will take people to this video. And again, over on the right hand side, you can see what this post will look like on Facebook. Now, if I navigate back over to post details and click on Instagram, I can navigate down to the Instagram text and post in the type of text content that I want to add for the Instagram post. And I want this to be slightly different to the Facebook post. And because people cannot click links in the description of a post on Instagram, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove this link. And instead I want to add, view this video on YouTube. Remember, this is just an example for the purpose of today's tutorial. Then we can also navigate down and add a location to our post. And it's important that you navigate up to the preview options to view what your post will look like on both Instagram and Facebook before you go ahead and publish or schedule your post. Now, when you're happy with your post, simply navigate down to the bottom right hand corner and click the drop down. And this is where we have the option to save this post as a draft or we can schedule the post. We can also go ahead and publish the post right away. You can also view the optimal times for publishing content to your audience. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and schedule these posts on both Instagram and Facebook. And then all we would do is simply navigate up to Facebook and Instagram and manually add a date and time when we want to publish this content. They can be completely different the times between Instagram and Facebook. I can also come down and select an optimal time. So I'm gonna go ahead and select tomorrow at four o'clock. So the Facebook post is going to be published tomorrow at four o'clock. Then I can navigate down and add four o'clock for Instagram as well, tomorrow at four o'clock. Then simply come down and click save. And then when you're ready to schedule your content on both Facebook and Instagram, simply navigate down and click schedule post then what's going to happen is you're gonna be redirected to the planner. Now think about the planner is your calendar for your scheduled and published posts. So over here on Friday the 22nd at four o'clock and four o'clock down here, I have an Instagram post and a Facebook post. I can also click on each of these posts to view the post details and preview what the post is going to look like on both platforms. I can also navigate down and click publish now if I want to push this post so that it's published now. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the post details. And now what we're gonna do is navigate back to our Meta Business Suite home. Okay, so now that we've created our first post on the Meta Business Suite and we've scheduled that post on both our Facebook business page and Instagram business account, what we wanna do now is navigate through all the other essential features that you can leverage inside the Meta Business Suite. Okay, so diving into the home dashboard, we've already talked about managing and creating posts for both our Facebook business page and Instagram business account. Below this section, we have updates. This is where you can view messages that are coming from your messenger or that are coming through your Facebook business page or Instagram business account. We can also navigate down and view comments as well as view tasks. Then if we scroll down to recent posts, this is where you can view all your recent posts as well as basic information in terms of how the posts are performing. Then if we navigate down to recent stories, this is where you can create a post for your Facebook business page story as well as your Instagram business account story. You can also see all your stories down here. Then if we navigate down, we have recent ads, 
This is where you can view all your recent ads that you've published. Under grow your audience, you can invite friends to like your page to essentially grow your page. Then down the bottom, we have content inspiration stories from similar businesses. And this is where you can view other stories and generate ideas that you can use for your own business. Again, we can also come down and create a story through this button down here. Okay, so next what we want to do is navigate up to the top left hand corner and below home, we want to select notifications. Under notifications, this is where you can simply see all the notifications in relation to Messenger, your Facebook business page and Instagram business account. Then if we navigate back over to the left hand side and below notifications, we have inbox. If we click on inbox, and then if we navigate up to the top left hand corner below inbox we have all messages this is where you can view all the messages from messenger facebook business page and instagram business account then if we navigate over to the right you can see all your messages from messenger and then we have instagram direct these are all your messages coming from your instagram account then next to instagram direct we have facebook comments these are all your facebook comments all your instagram comments and then if you've installed a chat plugin onto your website, you can view all the chats that are happening on your website. And then over on the far right hand side, you can see specific information about the particular profiles that have reached out to you. You can also navigate down the page and you can add labels. You can, for example, add new customer, important, today's date. You can also add additional labels to identify this profile. This basically allows you to manage all your customers or potential customers that are reaching out to you through all your different channels. You can also navigate down and add activity. So track important activity about this specific profile. And we can also add notes about this profile. And you can also see the shared photos that they have added to the chat. Now, if we navigate up to the middle top and click on automated responses, this is where you can simply manage all your automated responses on all your different platforms. You can choose which platform that automated responses are turned on and you can also customize your automated responses. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is navigate back over to the left hand side and then click on posts and stories. And again, similar to what we showed you on the home page, this is a more extensive view and area within your Meta Business account. And like I briefly showed you on the home dashboard, this is a more extensive view and place where you can manage all your posts and stories. So again, this is where you can view more detailed information about your posts. And we also have the option over here to create an ad. And over in the far right hand corner, we can create a story and create a post. Now, if you're accessing the Meta Business Suite from your desktop, the web version of the Meta Business Suite, then most likely you're not gonna be creating stories unless you're accessing the Meta Business Suite from your mobile device. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is navigate back over to the left-hand side and then navigate down to Commerce. Now this is going to take you to your business manager where you can manage your shop. So if you don't already have a shop or you're not too sure what a Facebook shop is, basically it's a place where you can list your products and people can purchase your products through your Facebook shop as well as on your Instagram account. Again, we're not gonna to talk too much about the commerce manager. However, if you wanna learn more about creating a Facebook shop and adding your products on Instagram and Facebook, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial down below in the description that will walk you through how you can set up the Instagram and Facebook shop. Now below the commerce manager, if we navigate down, we have access to the planner. So if we click on the planner, Remember, we've already discussed the planner. This is where you can view all your posts that you've created and scheduled. Okay, so simply navigate back over to the left-hand side and then below planner, we have ads. If you click on ads, this is basically where you can quickly create basic ads using the boost feature. Okay, so it's important to understand the difference between creating an ad within the ad manager versus creating a boosted ad. Within the Meta Business Suite and under Ads, this is where you can boost your posts. So creating a boosted post, so paid advertising, which drives your post on Facebook or Instagram, 
This is more ideal for complete beginners that have not had experience with running ads. And basically Facebook does most of the heavy lifting. All you need to do is navigate up to create ad and go ahead and create your ad by boosting an existing post. Now, if you want to access the ads manager and create a more comprehensive ad on Facebook or Instagram, simply navigate back over to the left hand side and then scroll down and click on all tools. Then under all tools, all you need to do is navigate down to ads manager and that's gonna take you to the ads manager where you can create more comprehensive Facebook ads. And again, if you're interested in learning how to leverage the ads manager to create your own Facebook or Instagram ads, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial down below, which will take you through the process of creating your first ad on Facebook. And under all tools, you can also see other information in terms of your account. Most likely you need to update your billing. This is where you can do that. Then finally, what we're gonna do is navigate back over to the left hand side and then come down to insights. And basically under insights is where you can create goals, you can view all your analytics in regards to the performance of your Facebook business page and your Instagram business account. However, that is everything we wanted to discuss in this Meta Business Suite tutorial for beginners to help you get up and running with the Meta Business Suite to grow your business online. And there we have it guys, that is it for this updated Meta Business Suite tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about this platform, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.